Hi, welcome back. The Pixel Slate has been flying off shelves thanks to reduced prices all over the shop. I picked up this i5 model bundled with a keyboard. Chrome OS has developed a lot since this dropped back in 2018. Pixel Slate 2020, let's go. At the time of uploading this video, I have no idea how available these will be, especially when it comes to the keyboard options. If you are interested, move quickly. Just before you jump on eBay, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you found this video informative. Let's begin right away by talking about the form factor. For one, it is slightly heavier than a 12.9 inch iPad Pro and it can be felt, but if you prefer larger tablets, then you'll enjoy what is on offer here. The screen is a beaut, albeit only 60 hertz of course, and while the speakers don't compete with the likes of an iPad or Galaxy Tab, they are brilliant forward firing speakers which are a joy to listen to. Very clear mids and highs with a dabble of low end. Dual USB-C ports for easy connectivity along with LED indicators on either side for charging are a real nice touch. I had no problems here making my ears bleed with a USB DAC and amp while using my 2.4 GHz mouse. For reference, you are seeing the Android app Power Amp, providing second to none audio performance and great visuals. Tablet use is fantastic on the latest Chrome OS. I know Google have thrown in the towel for this hardware category, and for sure, I can vouch for the inadequate tablet experience back in 2018, having spent a few hours on Chrome 70, its shipping version of Chrome OS. There was a lot of dislike from the tech community, especially as reviewers were given the dreaded Celeron Model 2, but now system stability is solid and screen taps are on point, which makes for a far more fun and touch friendly tablet than a Windows 2 and one Bringing me swiftly onto Android apps, compatibility is very good, but you'll probably run into a few games that report they aren't compatible. Chances are you can get around this by solo loading the APK, although this won't be for everyone. Running Android apps is probably your easiest method for game console emulation, especially if you want to use a controller. However, a further dive into emulation will have to return in a future video. Another example of where Android apps can be amiss is when they do not take advantage of the low latency pen input API, leaving Apple top of its game when it comes to tablet apps and ink support. If your main priority is to sketch and consume media through these types of apps, an iPad is your best bet. That isn't to say you can't have a good pen experience here. With the Android app Autodesk Sketchbook and Google's progressive web app for drawing called Canvas, lines are quick, smooth and accurate. The pen I'm using here is the Lenovo Active Pen 2. You can use the Pixelbook pen also. The pen also translates well into GIMP, an open source alternative to Photoshop running under the beta Linux application layer built into Chrome OS. And this is where the Pixel Slate and Chrome OS as a whole shines. It becomes a better laptop than iPads and Samsung DeX capable tablets try to be with a true full fat desktop web browser alongside mobile apps and Linux applications creating a sweet spot between mobile and desktop configurations. The USB-C ports give you a true extended desktop setup unlike an iPad where you simply get a mirrored display output 95% of the time, leaving the last 5% to applications specifically coded to make use of that secondary display. USB device compatibility on this is great. Is it comfortable running Adobe Premiere using a Windows compatibility layer like Wine on Linux? No, not really. Chances are you won't want to on the majority of processes that end up in Chromebooks. And honestly, that is best less saved for laptops with more horsepower and a desktop OS like Windows or Mac OS. You can, however, use this in a telecoms environment with little struggle. Engineers can SSH into switches, serial via USB adapters, access web GUIs on security appliances without worrying about browser incompatibilities, run TFTP servers, install Docker, and so on. A subset of coders can find themselves at home here too. Arduinos can be programmed in this environment. Visual Studio code can be installed with ease. If you want any advice on making the most of your Chrome OS device, hit me up in the comments. I'm not going to be able to provide an extensive list of examples, but there is a ton on offer here, making Chrome OS hardware a potential primary device for some, but more importantly, a fantastic secondary device to be productive with, but also to take to the couch 
when you are unwinding, consuming media and browsing the web. Let's talk more specifically about the Pixel Slate and the matching keyboard folio. Straight up, the keyboard and touchpad on this are excellent. Keys feel and sound great even if they are shallow. Rarely do I mistype on this keyboard. The touchpad size is decent and all gestures are responsive. There are magnets throughout the back of the slate to allow you to position this at any angle you would like. All when it is on a desk and I suggest it forever remains there because you won't be using it on your lap. It is the worst. Honestly, don't bother. You risk damaging the internals of the keyboard folio too. Enter the third party offering from Bridge who have a keyboard attachment for the Pixel Slate. It has a solid base which allows you to use a slate on your lap with ease. It isn't as great to type on and the touchpad is a tad less responsive, but this will get the job done if you know you won't have a desk to type on while you're away from home. And that is the Pixel Slate 2020 in a nutshell. There is more to do and share here. And let me know if you do wanna hear more about this. Perhaps there's an aspect that is important to you that I've overlooked, please let me know. There are steps that could be taken to do even more with the hardware, but that involves modifying the firmware and with plenty of updates still yet to come for the Pixel Slate, I won't get into that territory just yet. It is, however, reassuring to know that there is a lot of life yet in this unsuccessful but well-loved Chrome OS tablet. This is the Techno G signing out. Take care.